All right then, so in the last video, we created this create new article form. And I said that in this video, what we'd do is save that article to the database and we will do that. But I wanna talk about one important point first of all. If I go ahead and start creating articles right now, then store them in the database, then what we're not doing at the minute is storing which user has created those articles. Yeah, I'm logged in and I could be logged in as someone else and create articles under their username. However, we're not taking that username and storing it with this article. So we don't know who the author is at any point. And that's because in the model over here, we have these five fields, the title, slug, body, date, and thumb, but we're not storing the author. We're not saving that information, taking who's logged in and who created this article so that at a later point in time, we can output that data and associate articles with authors or users. So I'd like to address that problem first of all. So how are we gonna do this? Well, the way we're gonna associate an article with a user is by using what's known as a foreign key. And a foreign key is a way to associate a record from one model, in our case, the article model, with a record from another model, in our case, the user model. So we're gonna associate an article with a user. Make sense? So we're gonna call this field an author, and I'm gonna set this equal to models.foreignKey, like so. Now, inside here, we wanna say that it is a user that we're associating this with. We're associating this model with the user model. Now, of course, to use this model, we have to import it. I've already done that. So from django.contrib.auth.models, import user, capital U. Then we can associate this user or this user model with this author field right here, okay? So we're saying right now, the author field will be a user. Now I'm gonna say also that the default is gonna be equal to none. Oop, not node, none. Now, there is always gonna be an author because if we're logged in and we create an article, then I'm gonna take that user and associate it with that article, okay? But I'm just putting this here to play it safe. So now we have that, we know that when we make a change to a model, that we have to migrate those changes. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna comment out this, save it, and then head over to the admin section. And I've gone to the articles and I'd just like to delete all of these articles because none of them have an author associated to them. So to save myself any kind of trouble, I'm just deleting them all. Yes, I'm sure, delete all of those articles. That's fine, there's none left. Now what I do is uncomment this, save it, and I'm gonna migrate these changes. So open up your terminal cancel out of the server and we'll clear it to give us a bit of room. Then we'll say python manage.py. Then we need to make the migration files first of all. So make migrations. Then when that's done, we'll say python manage.py migrate those changes to the database like so. Okay, so it's applied those migrations now. Now, if we go to the front end, refresh over here, and if I try to add a new art, oops, I can't do that because I need to run the server first of all. So python manage.py run server, like so. Now I should be able to do it. Now, if I create a new article now, then you can see down here, I can select an author and it lists the different authors available to us, right? Automatically, because we've set up this foreign key right here. We've said that the author must be associated to a user. So it's looking inside that user model, finding our current users so that we can assign a particular article with an author. Good, right? So we can do this on the back end easily enough, but we also want to do it on the front end. Now, I don't want to give them a drop down list and say, okay, well, I'm logged in as Mario, but I'm going to choose Yoshi as the author. That doesn't make sense. We need this to be automatic so that if I'm logged in and I create an article, then my user is automatically associated with this post, this article. So how are we going to do that? Well, pretty simply again, First of all, let's go into the views file where this is all happening. So when we get a post request, we're taking the data from the form and we want to save it to the database. So we can do that. Remember, when we want to save something to the database, all we need to do is say form.save. Now, in the past, we left it as this. 
but this time I'm going to add in a parameter which is saying commit is equal to false. Now remember form.save returns us that instance of the article or the user when we save the user. So we can retrieve that instance and we can store it in a variable. It doesn't have to be named instance, it can be called whatever you want. I'm just calling it instance. So I have now an instance of that article right here. And this commit equals false means, hang on a minute, we're going to save this in a second, but don't commit to that action just yet. I just want you to give me that instance that we're about to save, then we'll do something with it, then we'll save it. So now we have that instance of the article. What I could do is attach the author that's logged in to that instance. So I could say instance.author because that was the name that we gave to the field on the model dot author and we'll set that equal to the request dot user so when we're logged in whenever we make a request and one of these functions is fired we have access to the user on that request so I'm grabbing that user right here and I'm storing it in this field on the instance of the article so now we're associating this article that's being created with the user that's being logged in make sense so now we've done that, we can go ahead and actually commit to this save. So we'll just run instance.save. So we returned that instance right here. Yeah, we attach the author to it by saying that's equal to request.user. Then we're going to save it finally to the database with the author attached. So now if we save this, what I'd like to do is just refresh over here. Now, if I do a title, I'll say, where is Mario? Then blah, 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 super original. The slug is where is Mario as well. And we'll choose a file, number two, create this. Now we get where is Mario over here. Now, if I look in the back end, if I go to articles again, I can see where is Mario and the author is Sean because I was logged in as Sean. Pretty cool, right? Now, if I try to log out and create an article with someone else, we need to log in to do that. So let's go to accounts hyphen login. I'll log in this time as Mario and it's test one, two, three, four. Login. So now I'm logged in as Mario. If I try to create an article as Mario, then it should store that in the database. So I'm right here. Hello. And then I'm right here. Okay, let's choose a file and create this. Now we'll check this out in the admin section. I'll probably have to log back in as Sean to see that. Now, if we see I'm right here, the author is now Mario. Awesome. So now Django is taking the current logged in user, associating it with the record that we create, the article, and it's saving all of that information to the database. How awesome is that? Very little work, but what we've done now is associated an author to an article and we've saved that to the database.